Hello everyone, Ziggler here, Bork, Chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. Today I want to discuss like a topic that I've seen like a split mixed uh, like opinion on the matter. And that is uh, like why Thunder Bluff is the best capital city in Season of Discovery. And I mean, it, it's quite simple. Like when I've been asking around... Uh, like in trade chat and everything and like asking on like what people's are opinion uh, what their opinion is they they say like uh, pretty much everyone is like agreeing on that it has to like the best layout because like everything is like conveniently close to everything so for example like let's say that <clears throat> you are gonna like craft something with uh, like your profession for example on my warlock for example i have blacksmithing so let's say i uh like i'm broke right now because i invested everything <laughs> yeah, i mean I i'm a bit broke like that but <clears throat> let's say that i like okay i want to craft uh this searing golden blade and i buy the materials from the auction house and then i run over here like way over there where the mailbox is <clears throat> sorry and then i empty it uh if i would have been in orgrimmar i'm gonna open up orgrimmar so you can see if i would have been in orgrimmar i would first have been in this house here and then run to this mailbox here but if i wanted to craft to my knowledge there's only one anvil place in orgrimmar and that is like you have to run away all the way here through the drag and through this portal here and all the way over here to the blacksmithing and engineering trainer. Well, actually the mining uh, supplier. I, I think there's an anvil there. But if it's not, it's guaranteed at the like blacksmithing part. So then you have to like buy it, them, run over there, craft them, run all the way back and put them on the auction house. And that's a, like a it, it, it takes quite a long time. But if I'm on here, I buy from the auction house, I loot it over here, and then, conveniently enough, it is very close. Because here we got, we got this melter, and we got the anvil, and, and like, it's, it's very close. Everything. So, it, it's, it's so convenient. And, Okay, like, okay, I, I need to buy some materials for my crafting. Okay, the the general, the trade vendor is over here. Where you can buy the, like, uh, spices and uh, flasks and stuff like that. And the uh, wooden stock for guns and stuff like that. And the silk thread. All the kind of gr colors is over here. But then, like, okay, I, I need to buy some general goods. Like, then you have these uh, simple wood if you're like an uh, enchanter or something and you want to like craft some ones. Then you have that over here. And you also have like the ice cold milk and also the refreshing spring water, which is a part of like a lot of cooking recipes. And then also like, okay, I want to craft uh, something with cooking. Okay, inside this tent here is a fire. And also, I'm going to mount up so you can see. Also, <clears throat> uh, also there's like a fire over here. So it's very close by there as well. So like, if, if you're just going to make some cooking, then you uh, go to the uh, auction house, go to the mailbox, buy the thing. Craft either there or over here. So, like, that's close. The inn is very close. Okay, the, the inn doesn't really matter because it's close in Orgrimmar as well. But, like, okay, the the bank is close. It is close in Orgrimmar as well. True. But, like, everything is fairly close to each other compared to in Orgrimmar. Because in, in this one, you have the mining mining supplier like if you want to skill skill your mining so that's there and after that uh, i think it's over okay it wasn't actually and then you have the sheppy which is the reagent vendor where you can buy like the portals and the uh chrono boon displacer 
like all of these kind of mats like the maple seed or whatever it's called like that is also something that you use for like enchanting and uh, I, I don't know which one of these it is but it's one of them that you use for like rest combat dressing as a druid and you have the runes of portals and everything over here and ankh if you're shaman and everything so that's fairly close as well and uh, I mean it, it, it like everything is close to each other and if we uh, just take a look uh, at the like layout I mean sure you will get dismounted here and stuff like that it doesn't really matter but like okay let's look at the first floor okay what do we have here we have skinning vendor we have leatherworking. I mean, it's not far. If you are in Orgrimmar, you have to, uh, again, uh, buy the things, go to the mailbox, and it's over here. It's quite a long way. I I'd say it's it, it it's it's further in Orgrimmar. But like, okay, here you got the tailoring, you got the the leatherworking. And then if we look over here, oh, see, enchanting is close as well. And here, alchemy, also very close. And uh, then we have the herbalist, also very close. Okay, let's look at the next floor. I mean, everything is so conveniently close to each other. The only thing I can think of that is like better in Orgrimmar is that... Uh, Thunderbluff doesn't have engineering. That's like one of the things. And I know that Orgrimmar has like the artisan version of uh, blacksmithing, for example. So like you, you sure you're going to have to go there. But I mean, overall, it feels like a better city. And like, okay, we're on the next floor. Oh, what do we have here? We have the cooking supplier, which is also very close. What else do we got? We got the fishing trainer here, right? Yeah, over here, fishing trainer. In Orgrimmar, in Orgrimmar, you would have the fishing trainer way over here. Or, no, okay. Yes, it's actually over here. In the Valley of Honor. So it's over here. Also, very far away. And sure, uh, it's like, okay, the, there's no water here. So, like, you can't skill, right? wrong like if you look in Orgrimmar it would be like okay the the skin the fishing trainer is over here and you have water there but we actually have a small pool here in Thunderbluff as well and that is like down here right next to the auction house so we can skill fishing in uh, over here as well and another thing that I feel like now that we have uh, exited uh, phase phase two and we're going into phase three if you are like leveling a new character from one to like 25 for example um you want to be in in or uh, in uh, thunder bluff because you're gonna have a chance to like to have the hearthstone here because you have a chance to get the boon of black fathom which gives you what is it hit chance and also movement speed which is awesome if you're leveling because who doesn't want 25 percent movement speed right and like sure after 25 you won't get the buff anymore i i think no no okay wait no that's actually on level uh it's on level 40 so from level 1 to 40 you're gonna have um, the Boon of Black Fathom chance to of it, uh, of you getting it because people are still running it, so that's the world buff. And if you are like off to level forty, in my opinion, sure you can't get the Boon of Black Fathom anymore. Like okay, you have the Gnome Regan buff, but if if you're leveling. That one doesn't, like, make that much of a difference. Sure, it will bump up the damage of, like, that you have. But with all the conveniences in Thunderbluff like this, I feel like it's better to just be over here. Sure, uh, one gripe I have with Phase 3 is that it might be a little bit like a... a, a like. A, 
con too much it would be much of a convenient one but i i don't like that the new world buff is dropped in booty bay i would love it to be over here in thunder bluff but it, it, i mean it doesn't make any sense really if it would be but i mean yeah like everything is clo more close to everything and if you if you want to pvp you have to go to the hunter rise that is just over there you you go through one of these uh inns over the uh, the bridge and then you're there again if you want to pvp in uh, orgrimmar okay where do you have to be you have to be in valley of honor uh, valley of wisdom right no okay no valley of honor so again you have to run all the way through here all the way up over here until you are inside of this one because here is where the pvp thing is Sure, in Orgrimmar, you have, like, once you're getting high, uh, higher up in the ranks, like Scout or Grunt and everything, Orgrimmar will be a better place for you if you're PvPing a lot, because once you get a certain rank, you can enter the PvP room. I, I think you're, like, Sergeant Scout or whatever, like, First Sergeant or whatever, it's, it's Sergeant or whatever it's called, to enter that room in Orgrimmar, which is over here. But, like, overall, Thunderbluff, in my opinion, is so much better. It, it, it just is. It, like, I cannot think of a reason why Orgrimmar would be better. And also, for me at least, I think that, uh, like, I prefer Thunderbluff for another reason as well. I mean, I've been playing this game since, like, 2007. We've always been in Orgrimmar. Pretty much. So I'm kind of tired of the place as well. And like sure, we were, we were here all throughout phase one. And I mean, I, I haven't grown tired of this place at all. So yeah, that just a little like quick thing. It's not like a guide or anything, but everything is more convenient in my opinion. And according to a lot of other people's opinion that... Thunderbluff is a better capital city for the Horde to have your Hearthstone in. And with that, I want to say thank you for watching. Please leave a like and comment and subscribe if you feel like this was helpful. And, well, yeah, just whatever. I would really appreciate if you do. And I hope to see you in the future in the next video. Bork, bork.